Hello and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2. King Magnus II of Norway is uh, currently not doing so well in his holy war against uh, Finland. If you've seen the previous episode, I was maybe a tad ambitious with my attempt to teach these heathens the Catholic way. Basically, they all ganged up on me and created a massive army, which I've managed to halve but I no longer have any army left. So, I think the first thing we've got to work out is an exit strategy from this war, which has not, not gone well. Now, <laughs> defeat, defeat, defeat. If I were to offer peace, I can't enforce my demands because obviously they're winning, so the chances of that happening. Even though that would have been good, because I would have vassalised the lords of the religion and taken all other titles in the Duchy of Finland, which would have been, you know, a good win. However, it didn't work out that way. I can't offer a white peace, as, again, I'm losing. There's no way he would accept it. The only, my only option is to surrender. Now, I don't think I lose anything apart from 188 gold, which I don't yet have. So I think my exit strategy is going to have to be save up some money and then pay the bugger off. Uh, I don't myself lose anything. The Catholic religion does, but, you know, who cares about the Pope? Moral authority is 72 and a half. That's, you know, that's, that's quite a lot. So, let's start things rolling. Save up some money and hope they don't try and take any more of my land. Oh. Duke Isselfer now favours Prince Olaf as the heir, heir, has the heir as the heir to the Kingdom of Norway. He changes his mind every five minutes, so that will change. Duke Paul now favours Prince Olaf as the heir to the Kingdom of Norway. That's all good. Beards everywhere. Duke Isilfir will change his mind in about five minutes. You mark my words. Oh, I need some more money. There we go. Duke Isilfir now favours himself as the heir to the Kingdom of Norway. I wish he'd make up his mind. There's really nothing I can do. I don't... Everything's kind of safe and secure in my main country. Um, oh, let's slow this down a bit. Oh, the Swede's going on another attack. They're still just standing there. I have Sweden and Denmark are my allies in my attempt to take over Finland. And they keep sending little little attacks in, but they don't often get very far. I don't think there's any fighting going on. Oh no, we've got a small Danish army wandering around there. I need 188. So, 8 more, no, 12 more, and I can <laughs> surrender. Not the most, not the best thing to do. And I do regret taking on the might of the Finnish, em Finnish, eh, Finnish Empire when I probably should have gone after Iceland. If anything, as they are de jure Norway, so it's quite an easy claim to make, and they're Catholic, and it would have been nice and easy, they wouldn't have any heirs, I could just walk in and... Ooh. My liege, good news, during my mission to Trondelag, I happened to meet the noble Mayor Harlhjell of Trondheim. After promising not to divulge any of the information outside the realm, he decided to share me, share with me some of the military advancements he had implemented in the last year. 
Enclosed with this letter is a document describing them in more detail. Good. Tactics, that's nice. But yes, if I'm... And I get rid of Duke Gisselfer. And if I could become the Duke of Iceland, that would reduce the number of electors. Because at the moment... Oh! When do you get a hat? Prince Olaf of Norway is currently my vote and is Duke Paul's vote. There are three electors. Me, Duke Paul and Duke Isilfir. So if I could get rid of him and take up that duchy then I am... I get another vote. And if I can create more duchies but I don't have the money, then that's even better. I'm starting to think Gertrude might fancy me. Who's Gertrude? My courtier. No, I'm married. To Gunhild. How dis... No. It's not appropriate. I'm sorry, I'm not... That's not right. How are my sons doing? He's eight. He's seven. Why is Prince Harold doesn't like me very much? That's worrying. Oh, because I haven't favoured him as heir? Maybe? Okay, let's let's do this. Let's Let's surrender. Oh, two hundred now. Why has that gone up? Okay, let's three days until The Norwegian Holy War for Finland has ended. King Magnus II of Norway has lost. Yes, I know. To the wretched King Magnus II. Tales of your misdeeds are told from Ireland to Cathay. I accept your offer of peace. Okay. Oh, oh, things are happening. We had lack of funds happen to us. Okay, yes. Duke Isilfer for Norway faction, led by Count Ostmud of Jönkland, has been disbanded. Paul, Duke Paul has become Count of Ross. The Orkneyan claim on Ross war has ended Duke Paul one. Duke Paul I of Orkney has usurped the title County of Ross from Prince Melschnecktai of Scotland. Okay. So that means thanks to Duke Paul, the lovely Duke Paul, I've got bigger. Levy's too long. Yeah, they've gone now. One title can be usurped. Okay, so I am... I, okay, I need money. don't have any money. So I won't bother looking at that. But Duke Paul's done some good there by increasing Norway. Okay, they've gone from up north. He's still trying to... They're still Norse. They're all still Norse. That's a shame. Lack of funds is no longer affecting us. That's good. Duke Isselfer now play <laughs> with Prince Olaf as the, yes. He's taking his hat off. The sound of blade against blade makes me shiver and the fierce roars from the fighting men make me want to run and hide. That, however, is not suitable. Okay. Uh, 
fairly good. Score this guy's gonna get over a thousand when he dies. Duke is the now favours himself, is it? Make up your bloody mind. How old is Duke Isilfeu? He's 70, he's got to die soon. And there are no longer any factions. I managed to get rid of all of them. That's good. But I have no money. I need money. Is anyone doing any building work? No. Right, let's speed this up. And full speed ahead. Oh, what's this? Our knowledge of heavy armour in Trondelag has increased to level 1. Fantastic. Another year gone by. Sometimes it's easier to lie than to hurt people with the truth. Honesty can hurt. Oh. So what do I... I lose intrigue with gain diplomacy. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Something's going on here. I'll have a look at that in a second. But first, I watched my son Einar at play with another child yesterday and noticed that he didn't want to share his toys. It's very rude. This is how a child learns thrift. Um, greedy. Prince Einar's opinion of Magnus II changed by 10. Greedy is good for tax. But less he needs the birch. Prince Einar loses the trade greedy. I don't mind him being a bit greedy. Oh dear. That <laughs> sounded nasty. At the age of 43, Scofia of Hegra died after a period of illness. Okay, who was he? Oh, there's only a courtier. That doesn't matter. Okay. Now, I'm going to wait a few years before I take on Iceland. I don't think... I have, well, I haven't got the men yet. I don't think. So, I think I'm just going to... Have a quick look around and see what's going on. I'm 36. I want to improve my martial ability. Yeah, it's not going to happen. Just can't find that ambition. Okay. I can't pick an ambition yet. I don't think you just said I could. Um. My heir is my brother, who has married some uh, countess, not too bad. He has two children. Now, my children, I have Harold, who is likely to be... I would say likely to be my heir when he's come of age. I'll change from my brother to him at some point. Einar is useless. <laughs> well, I'm tutoring him, what do you expect? So he's not going to become my heir, but he likes me. Uh, my brother has a lot. There's me ledger. I'm not getting enough money, really. Pay to me tax, I get a lot from Trondelag. Yeah, I need more money, more money. No archers, really. Oh, Orthodox has got more authority than the Catholics at the moment. That's probably because I lost my war. Didn't help. Oh, that's everyone. 
my dynasty. Everyone's Catholic. Prince Olaf has got more money than me. Ooh, he's negative prestige. <coughs> I wonder how he's managed that. No, it's all going okay, I think. Now I've ended that stupid war. Things are going okay. The Pope is upset with our law of free investiture. The Holy Father is asking us to change it to comply with church doctrine. Okay, Kingdom of Norway. Implement papal investiture. I get 25 piety. Catholic religion gets 2% more moral authority and the Pope likes me more. Um, I can't pay. I'll, I'll go with what the um, church want. I've just lost a war for them, so yeah, I should probably be nice to them. Oh, a revolt has broken out in Hologoland. Angered by my oppressive rule, the peasants have taken to arms. Where's Hologoland? Here. Okay. Ah, oh, and Gunhild is pregnant. Pause, 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 pause. Wow! Oh no! Wow, everything happened then. Prince Olaf of Westfold is no longer guardian of Prince Harold of Norway. Prince Olaf... He's dead! My brother died! I think. Stop! Pause! 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 Help! Duke Paul now favours Prince Harold as the heir to the Kingdom of Norway. Let's slow this right down. I've got stuff to sort out. You have a new heir. If your character dies, you'll now play as Prince Harold. Count Erling of Vestfold has inherited County of Vestfold and other titles from Prince Olaf of Norway. The age of 28, Prince Olaf of Norway had died after a period of illness. A holding in Hagen under siege, Otto has become Count of Opland. He's been Count of Viken. Aina asks why do people die? Because they are too carefree. 60% um, chance to be patient. That's good. Everyone dies sooner or later. Brave or arbitrary? Brave. Arbitrary. All part of God's plan. Proud. Or honest. Ah, oh, he's become honest. That's nice. Okay, pause. Pause, pause, pause. I've got to work out what's going on with my realm now. They got 566. Light infantry, light cavalry, and archers. I have. I'll raise my personal levies and I'll get light infantry and light cavalry. Oh, didn't mean to do that. I might lose some men because of that. I shouldn't have raised the ones in the army under siege. Never mind. Okay, work out through work through these now. Two titles can be created. Right imprisonment, I can imprison my mum, but I don't want to. I can usurp a title. Pick an ambition. Okay, one child lacks a guardian. Prince Harold lacks a guardian. I will... I will be his guardian. Where am I? There I am. Is 
that sorted. I need a new steward, which means I need to go with stewardship. Skjal, Count of Vicken, is 37. Or the Mayor of Trondheim. Earth Catholic, he wants to become a steward. Um, 11, 13. Go for him, that's good. The following titles will be lost on succession. Kingdom of Norway. Um, bollocks. I shall nominate Prince Harold. Okay, that's that sorted out. I've nominated my son. Pick an ambition. Mass wealth, 500, that's going to take a while. Improved martial ability, you improved learning, improved diplomacy. Well, that's the only, only one I can do, really. Um, <laughs> have I managed to sort everything out now? That, that all came at once. What are you doing? Um... Oh, I'm quite sad about losing my brother. I thought he was quite, quite good. Okay, I might lose this. Don't go in. You just make sure these meet up either side rather than going straight in like they did, because that was not a good plan, and I can't get them out. So I'll just. Use them to weaken this army a bit, I suppose. What heavy infantry? They're not really doing anything. Not doing enough. So that was a stupid mistake. What's going on down here? Nothing much. I'll speed up a little bit. Not too much though. Oh, I'm taking some people out here. Okay, not anymore. Defeat. Okay. The siege isn't going well either. Well, it's going well, not for me. My son hardly eats anything for fear of turning fat. It's good. Prince Harold gains one in stewardship. And he likes me more. And temperate. Um. No, it's good. I like that. I don't want... I don't want my son to like me, and he doesn't really. Okay, now, merge your units. In we go. Typhoid fever has broken out in Rogaland. There is a talented town crier in Hologaland who seems to be able to catch the attention of the peasant rabble in an instant with his commanding voice. You have studied his methods and the pitch of his voice closely, and you expect to do better the next time you have to address a large crowd. Good. Oh, fantastic, because that's what I wanted to do. King Magnus the Wise filled the ambition to improve diplomacy. Brilliant. So now I've got, ooh, prestige of 999. That's good. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Duke Tater the first now favours himself. Does that mean that finally Duke Isselfer 
He's dead. Died of severe stress. <laughs> Fantastic. I didn't like him. I don't like him very much, though. Prince Harold is my heir. He likes me now. He didn't before. That's good. Things are looking up. This episode has gone well. This little period. Apart from, obviously, the sad news of Prince Olaf dying and everything. But. And Duke's. Oh, he's going to take after his father, isn't he? He's going to change his mind every five minutes. Now he wants Prince Harold to be heir. Right, almost there. Brynjolf, Eirik, and Hakon. I keep forgetting to use ships. Ships will be quicker. And they still have not reached. Almost. I probably won't need these, actually. With a bit of luck. I have got here heavy infantry, mainly. Okay, calls. A message about call to arms being received from Eric of Stenkill. Dear brother in law, your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I know, I'm. Well, what can I say? You request that you honour your obligation and answer the call to arms against High Chief Mylas of uh, Tavistin. Yeah, sure. Whatever gets left out of this battle. <laughs> you see, it's taking us farther. Perhaps I shall raise my fleet. Uh, a daughter, Gudrun. Lovely. Victory! Nice. So I put down the rebellion. Pick up these men and then take them to war. I thought I should come here. Come on, there we go. Now, bark. What's a bloody stupid way to go, isn't it? I've got some money now. <coughs> Merge. Oh, end of the year. Embark. Oh, I need a bigger navy. Raise my f three ships here. Can I embark now? What can it hold? Eight hundred, and I am trying to put more than that on. Uh, Finnmark, do you have any ships? Another three. Prince, the Count Altar of Opland. Why can't you embark now? One thousand four hundred. Embark. Now, where is this war taking place? Let's try and work out where this war is. It is a war against High Chief Mielu of uh, Tavistans. High Chief Milus the Half Hand. Okay, so it's here. So where's my ships?
might take a while to get there. And what was this faction? 14%, nobody interesting. Oh, there was typhoid fever in everywhere. How do I get rid of that? Do I just kind of... Just leave it, do I? Oh, it's over here. This is what's the problem. And the Swedes... The Swedes are taking over this area, and I'm going to help them. Pick an ambition. Mass wealth. Unlikely to happen, but... How do I get rid of typhoid fever? Is there anything I can do, or is it just let it run its course? Ships for a dance like quicker than armies. Well, it's all over. My wife Gunhild was, capt was captivated by the grace and strength of the hunting birds and begged me for a bird. Will a buzzard do? <laughs> um. A falcon, a buzzard. Oh, buzzards are a bit. A falcon would be much better than a buzzard. It only cost ten. I think she'd like it. Ah, oh, she she'd like her. She'd like a falcon. There you go. I've brought my wife a falcon. Almost there. Oh, do I have to put, um, how do I get my men off the boat? How about that? Merge. Like that. Come back and then disband. Anything. Prince Einar is impulsive and seems unable to tell right from wrong. What should I do with my wayward son? Beat him. I'll be nice to him. Okay. Army of Hokon of Norway. Taking over Siege Race Apori. Danish army, Swedish army. Okay, we're defending against him, but he's gone. Don't know what he's up to. Let's. Oh no, I need to go into port and then I can disband without losing anyone. So I don't want to lose people. Now I can disband. So nobody gets annoyed that I've got their ships. How are we doing? 44. It's a siege of Raspuri. And then I've got the city of Espoo. Espoo, lovely. Before I take the whole place. We've got down here. Some armies wandering around.
they are Suomanusku as well. So, I hope they're not going to start attacking me up here again. That would really annoy me. Yeah, it's occupied by King Eric. I'll be occup occupying we'll see more soon the Tavastian's conquest of Sack has ended King Eric has won ah okay she'll just walk my men back across and then disband the army in can I do it here I might try and do it here. Are these... Maybe not. They might be friendly. I'll see. Oh, it's gone up. It's travelled up. Well, it's everywhere. Typhoid fever is everywhere. Can I disband here? Uh, no. Can I eat to... Oh. That was silly. I forgot I had proper Sweden just here. And he is my ally, so that is friendly. So I should be able to disband there without a problem. I think. I might be wrong. If I am wrong, I'll have to wander back over here. Look at that message. When I have... Oh. Do not being in friendly territory, but it's... Right, I'm gonna wander you all the way back to our plan. <laughs> Let's look at this message. Stein Svein of Orlan seeks to kill Count de Brunjolf. He seeks to kill his dad. Oh, I'm not fast. Is this. Orland. What's going on now? Army of Hokon will revert there, fine. Army of Mare Sverker of Upland is going on the offensive with a big, big ass army. Oh. Dear brother-in-law, peace be with you. We request that you do... <laughs> you you honour your obligation and answer this call to arms against High Chief Milus I of Tavastians. The kind will cost us 25 prestige. If we accept, we will be part of the <laughs> second holy war for Finland. Okay. I'm going to accept that. I will turn this army around. I will press pause. Typhoid fever has been contracted by somebody. Yes. And <laughs> I shall end this episode there. So basically, I began by ending my holy war for Finland and have finished by starting or joining the Swedish holy war for Finland. Um. Oh well. Swings and roundabouts. Things go round and round and round. Um, hopefully this one will be more successful. I'm not the leader of this one, so I shouldn't have such a problem with the whole ending it thing. I've got a few troops I might use and try and get some prestige that way. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye. And I hope you come back to see how King Eric does, as opposed to how I did. Goodbye.